Garibaldi's has been around for over 30 years. I think one of the things that makes Garibaldi's so special as a neighborhood restaurant and that quintessential one is that it changes with the times and with the people who come in. We have people who come in in the golf shorts and people who come in in tuxedos and ball gowns going to the premiere of the ballet. We'll take you as long as you're decent. Cooking has always been fun for me and I started off basically at an American style restaurant and worked at Delfina for years so it shaped me with Italian style cooking. All about fresh and seasonal and just using what's available and local. The menu at Garibaldi has some classics. We have chicken milanese which is one of our most famous dishes here at Garibaldi's. Lamb tenderloins is another classic on the menu and then it gives us room to play with the menu. What he really means is that it gives room him to play, so which I love because he gets to do some amazing, wonderful things that you wouldn't even think of. But Milanese is what brings people into the Absolutely. restaurant. Absolutely, that's our staple, of course. As you can see, it's got a nice crispy golden brown. The original chef, Danielle Martez, shout out to you, Danielle, bless you. Um, amazing, a wonderful chef. He created the original chicken milanese that we know it as Garibaldi's. It's gone through some updates and incarnations as time has passed, but he was definitely the one to bring together all of that Italian influence as well as a little bit of French. The secret to the milanese, honestly, I think is the pounding thin. That goes into our buttermilk marinade. And then that buttermilk marinade, oh my gosh, it just makes it so tender and juicy. Once it is breaded and then a little bit of frying. We'll brown it on both sides. I will dump the oil and then we throw it into the oven to finish cooking it. You cannot go wrong, it is delicious. The, the burr blanc adds a lot too. It's a nice bright, the keepers add a little bit of salinity, a little brininess. The wine from the reduction in the butter sauce is just, it just makes it pop. <laughs> What would you do for your perfect bite? The perfect bite for me would be a little spoonful of mashed potatoes, the beurre blanc, the chicken with some all down sea salt, and a little bit of wild arugula, all in one fork, full bite. Oh yeah, but you definitely have to get the capers as well. You gotta get a couple capers in there as well. Agreed. The menu changes frequently, but we have the classics here, which are regulars and neighborhood loves that if we took it off the menu. We would, we would have a revolt, we, we really would. would. Yeah. If we ever took Milanese off the menu, yeah. that would. No way. Now, Margo, you live in Oakland, but this dish is in San Francisco that you obviously have fallen in love with. Why is it so special? Well, it's interesting because I came across this restaurant um, because I was doing some private coaching for one of my mentees and we did a bargain. And she said, how about if I give you a gift certificate to the restaurant where I work? Right. I got the gift certificate and uh, me and my fiance went there and we were like, this is a nice place. And I looked at the menu and I said, hmm, I want to try this chicken milanese. And I fell in love with it. Right. So you have this beautifully breaded breast of chicken atop these fluffy mashed potatoes. And you have the perfect sauce and the capers. And when you cut into that breading and you see that that meat is super tender and you put a little bit of those mashed potatoes on there, oh my God, it's heaven, it's heaven. Now, it also happened to be my birthday. And so that became our birthday restaurant. Uh, fantastic. Tell me about your experience at Garibaldi's. It was a, it's a pretty um, upscale establishment. Sometimes you go, well, the place is upscale a little bit and maybe the food won't be as good. So I was a little, a little bit had that chip on my shoulder. And I went in and I tried it and I was like, oh, OK. So this is uh, this is for hard hitters and heavy duty folks. I mean, this is um, you better skip breakfast. <laughs> and look, it is a hearty water. dish, isn't it? Drink it is water all day before you have this because I couldn't finish it, but the taste was I get it, it was outstanding and intoxicating and all, all the adjectives. But, um, it, it was heavy. Max, you're a soccer player, come on, you burn a lot of calories. Could you could finish this dish, couldn't you? I'm not gonna lie, I had half for lunch, half for dinner, uh, <laughs> like the rest of them. Uh, but it was amazing. It was just as good for dinner as it was for lunch. Um, 
you know, when you get that crispy exterior, sometimes the inside isn't as tender, but the inside was very tender. Also, the salt crumbs on the top was just a touch of class. You know, it's not like it was just some salt out of a salt shaker, but it was like some classy salt, if that <laughs> exists. And, you know, it, it tasted that way, too. Uh, the mashed potatoes were a nice balance. It could last you a whole day if you wanted it to. That's right. So when you're saying it's upscale, it is a very nice restaurant. And, you know, in terms of the of the price quality, you have to say, OK, that's a lot of food for the price, right? That's yeah, true. you get two meals out of it. I, I, I never thought about that, but yeah. Yeah, because <laughs> a lot of times you go to places in that there's very small portions. Yeah, they're not. Um, and my fiance calls it cute food. So <laughs> this was not cute food. It was good, hearty food. No, well, yeah, definitely. <laughs> And do you have anything to sip alongside that, Margo? Because they do have a nice, uh, small wine list, but it's got some international selections, very well priced, actually. Yes, I love Prosecco. So I had a nice glass of Prosecco along with the dish. I am a Prosecco girl myself, and I have to say that anything fried with anything bubbly is the perfect pairing. So yes. I also want to talk about that big mound of arugula salad, which adds that cool crispness. So would this be a dish that you'd go back for for a birthday or something, Max? Oh, for sure. I had it to go, so I didn't get the whole restaurant ambiance. So I think I need to go back to get the full experience. So I'll definitely bring some friends and family back and... We'll probably all share one dish. <laughs> Fantastic. Would you make the trek, you know, from yeah, Oakland over to San Francisco uh, for this? It one? was a little bit out of my normal range. So I thought it was a good find. And, um, you know, it's a good place to you want to impress somebody who's, you know, from New York or something or L.A. Be like, well, I've got a place. And, Margo, we know you're going back for every birthday, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right. If you would like to try the chicken melanese at Garibaldi's, it's located on Presidio Avenue in San Francisco. Margo's pro tip, Prosecco is a perfect pairing for the dish. I wholeheartedly agree.